Hey, so it happened again. We've doubled our numbers. And I'm very happy to see that you guys really like what I do and support my work. Thank you very much in believing in me and leaving this wonderful, amazing feedback that uh, actually helps me to go extra mile further in lore research. And as a token of appreciation, I would like to show you something special today. Apart from telling lore about D&D, I like to draw and paint minis, my, most of us. And uh, I did something special to this occasion, which I would like to share with you and show you how I did it. I haven't invented this technique myself, but I really liked it and decided to do something similar but with D&D flavor. So meet Shadowfell, Prime Material Plane and of course Feywild. And during this video you will show how I do it guys in case you would like to do the same. And I will tell you a little bit of fun facts about each of the plane. And if you liked it, tell me in the comments below if you would like more lore about planes. Enjoy! A good old prime material plane. The plane is connected to most of other planes and could be considered kind of a neutral hub or crossroads, if the person knew the means how to travel between these, of course. Plane of Shadow, bleak reflection of Prime Material World and the complete opposite of Feywild. The plane is almost identical to the Prime Material Plane and has the same geography. One can access it through various means, but the most common one was through a Shadow Walk spell. The existence of the plane was known for a long time and was used by the Nazarese Empire quite a lot. The plane of Fairy or Feywild is a reflection of Prime Material Plane but looming with magic and emotions. The plane's geography was somewhat similar, yet it felt like everything was sharper, had more contrast and color. However, the traveler could navigate across it quite easily, as famous landmarks were identical. The time flows differently in Huayvald which means a traveler entering the plane can skip years without ever noticing it, or, on contrary, leaving the plane as an old man while spending a couple of minutes inside for the prime material plane observer.
during this Pay Plague event, in 1385, the goddess Shar managed to pour necrotic energies from the plane of negative energy to plane of shadow. The latter became transformed by it and became a filter-like layer for souls, which now have to pass through it before final destinations. From that moment, the plane gained the name Shadowfell. It is known that fire spells, along with any other spells producing light, were unpredictable on the plane, while shadow dark spells were very potent. The twisted nature of Shadowfell twisted the visitors too. The person who spent much time on the plane slowly transformed and adapted to the environment, gaining new traits but losing old ones. The notable locations of Shadowfell are Evernight, which is a reflection of Neverwinter, Shadow Swamp, and Gloomrot, a reflection of the infamous Tultantar, a former Nazareth enclave city. The well known Drist even had been there once. There are lots of famous places on the material plane and famous worlds, which include Torin, Oers, Green, and infinite others. The interconnection exists through astral and ethereal planes, which serve as the conduit between all planes and to which the prime material plane has easy access to. Unlike Shadowfell, Feywild was not a secret for anyone, and was used by various creatures as a retreat from the events of the Prime World. In the days of Spayplague, 
Feywild was drawn closer to the Prime Material Plane and the borders weakened, allowing easy passage between two planes for all capable of doing so. The notable locations in Feywild are Mahtur, which is a goblin kingdom, Kingdom of Malabog, the giant who allied himself with Valindra's shadow mantle for conquests, Evermeet, the most known city of elves, Magduria, a city in Feywild Underdark, and Domains of Delight, demiplanes of Archface, such as Prismir and Zabilna. In 5th edition of D&D, players can travel between the planes with various means. The most certain are spells of plane shift, gate, etherealness, astral projection, blink or banish. <laughs> 